Welcome to the United States of pizza. Here at Cook's Country, we love pizza from all across the country, no matter the region. And today we're going hyper local to the South Shore of Massachusetts and Lawman's going to show us how to make bar pizza. What's not to love about bar food? It's greasy in the best possible sense. <laughs> it's a cure for salty cravings. Me being a New Englander, New England bar pizza is one of my favorites. Now, this pizza is not trying to compete with Neapolitan style pizza. This thin crust, delicious pizza is good on its own. And if you can't make it to the bar, I wanna show you how to make it at home. Now we're gonna make the dough from scratch. Great. Now this isn't any kind of go to the store, buy some pre-made dough, roll out pizza. Mm -hmm. So here I have eight and a third ounces of all purpose flour. I'm gonna add one tablespoon of sugar, one teaspoon of rapid rise yeast. We're just gonna buzz it for about three seconds just so it combines. Now we're gonna add two thirds of a cup of water while it's still going. And we're just blending it until there's no dry flour left. Okay. We're gonna let it sit for 10 minutes so the flour can hydrate. Okay. Now you notice the dough doesn't really look any different. Right. But once we add one and a half teaspoons of olive oil, three quarter teaspoon of salt, we're gonna buzz this for 30 to 60 seconds until it forms this nice sticky ball that clears the sides. Voila. Now I'm gonna take the dough out. I'm gonna put it on a lightly oiled counter. I'm gonna knead this dough for about one minute. Okay. Now I'm gonna make it into a nice tight ball. And I'm putting in a bowl that's been lightly greased as well. Just cover it with some plastic wrap. It's gonna sit at room temperature for two to two and a half hours until it's almost doubled in size. Okay. While the dough's rising, we have plenty of time to make a great sauce. To start, I have 14 and a half ounce can of diced tomatoes. Okay. One teaspoon of extra virgin olive oil, half teaspoon of dried oregano, half teaspoon of sugar, quarter teaspoon of salt, an eighth of a teaspoon of pepper flake. Nice. And an eighth of a teaspoon of black pepper. We're gonna blend this for 30 seconds until it's nice and smooth. And that's it. I wanna get a whiff there. Ooh, nice. Now, does this get cooked? No, it goes right on the pizza. Easy, love it. Now I'm gonna make the topping for the pizza, which is a combination of cheeses. First we have our mozzarella cheese. You want about a cup of cheese and you want to make sure you shred it yourself because pre-shredded cheese doesn't melt the same way. That's right. No, it's sometimes it has the cellulose that's added to the packaging and it'll prevent it from melting into a big, beautiful pool. Exactly. I mentioned those two cheeses that we're using. This is a sharp cheddar cheese. It gives the New England bar pizza its classic tang flavor. You don't want to use extra sharp because it's going to create a pizza that's a little too greasy. Now let's talk about what we're going to cook the pizza in. Pizza. <laughs> He is from New England. I am. Yep. So I have two nine inch cake pans. The darker color is gonna help with browning. And to further help with browning, I'm gonna add one and a half teaspoons of extra virgin olive oil to the pan. Oh, I love it when we do this. We do it sometimes with focaccia or pan pizzas where you get that little bit of oil in there and it almost fries the dough. Exactly. Oh yeah. Sauce, cheese ready. Just waiting for the dough, right? Just waiting for the dough. Waiting for good dough. The dough is ready. It's been about two and a half hours. Doubled in size, I'd say. It absolutely has. A little flour down. I'm going to cut it in half. So we're going to have two pizzas. Right. I'm going to give you one so you can help me make them. You don't have to ask me twice. I love doing this. So what you want to do first is make a ball. How's that? Looks good. Then you're going to take your fingertips and you're going to make a six inch disc. We're going to end up rolling it out to a 10 inch round, so this is kind of getting us halfway there. Gotcha, all right. What do you think? It's not as good as mine, but it'll do. <laughs> now we're gonna roll into a 10 inch round. All right. <laughs> I will say it doesn't have to be perfectly round. New England is famous for their amoeba pizzas, correct? <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? I assure you, when it comes out of the oven, this will be a round pizza. Awesome. Now we're gonna add the dough to the pan when you add it, you want to give it a, like a quarter inch lip going up. Okay. Very thin. All right. This is going to be a very thin crust. Now we're going to add a third of a cup of sauce. 
Right here. All right. Just gonna add that right in the middle. Take your brush, brush it around, mm -hmm. get up on the sides. All the way up on the crust? All the way up on the crust. Yes. Next, we're gonna add the cheese combination. Yes. Now you wanna make sure you get some of that cheese up onto the sides. Oh, yes. So you get that little bit of lacy fried cheese frico. Okay. Now we're gonna bake the pizza at a 500 degree oven on the bottom rack closest to the heating element. We want the crust to get nice and brown, the cheese to be bubbly, almost brown. It's gonna bake for about 12 minutes. We're gonna be rotating halfway through. Beautiful. Oh. Oh my goodness. Oh, look at that side there. Oh my gosh. Mm -mm -mm. <sighs> well. Came out one piece, so I'm guessing we have to wait. We have to wait five minutes. Okay, Bridget, it's been five minutes. Now it's time to slice the pizza and eat it. It's safe to eat, okay. Half for you, half for me. <laughs> Look at that, that lacing. And the cheese on top is lightly brown, but you get that nice deep color on there on the sides. Mm, mm. It's a good pizza. It's a really, really good pizza. I mean, the cheddar, adding some tanginess, to the mozzarella, I do like the little bit of cheese grease on top. It's not a pizza without that. I love the, the grease on this pizza. Slightly salty. Yes. It's a little bit sweet. You have the crunch of the crust. I think it's a really good pizza. And if you would love to make this hyper-regional bar pizza at home, use the food processor to make both the dough and a quick sauce. Top the pizzas with a combo of mozzarella and sharp cheddar cheese. And bake them in a well-greased, dark-colored cake pan. So from Cook's Country, a hyper-regional favorite, New England bar pizza, or more accurately, bar pizza, right? <laughs> Thanks for watching Cook's Country from America's Test Kitchen. So what'd you think? Leave a comment and let us know which recipes you're excited to make, or just say hi. Now you can find links to today's recipes and reviews in the video description. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you later. Alligator. <laughs>